hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial I'm going to do my makeup and I'll get this look hey guys sorry I didn't realize I wasn't recording sorry for that but I'm gonna show you guys what I used the Clinique dramatically moisturizer the best damn lip mask and the Milani conceal plus perfect number four Sorry, but I'm gonna just blend. Blend all the way now. Now I'm just going to use my Milani brow wax on my brows. And my Milani brow kit. Now I'm just going to highlight my brow bone area with the L'Oreal True Match Crayon Concealer. Now, if I can figure out how to open this Ellen Tracy eyeshadow palette. And by the way, that's my husband and my baby in the background. They're so cute. I wish these eyeshadow had colors.
now I'm going to conceal my under eyes with my LA Pro Concealer. set my foundation with Airspron Loose Face Powder. It smells amazing. I got it at Walgreens and it's actually tinted so that's why I love it. By the way, I use my L'Oreal Mascara Telescopic. Now I'm going to take my new contour kit by Kat Von D. I got this at Sephora. And this isn't the new brush. This word, this is the contour brush. And this is the in shade light palette. And I'm going to use the color Subconscious. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. And just I'm going to put that on my hollows of my cheek. And now I always try and put it like a little bit over the hollow line just so because when you blend it, it usually tends to come down. So if you do put it on the hollow line, it will be below the contour line. So you want to get a good um, cheekbone shade. So that's why you want to make sure it stays right on the contour line. And I'm going to test that with two different brushes. I'm going to do my contour brush from Kat Von D and then the thin brush. going to use my Milani blush and this is in rose and I'm going to use it with the other tip of the contour brush from Kat Von D.
Now after I blended everything out, I'm going to highlight with Benefit. Now I'm going to use another Milani product and this is the Lip Liner in Coco. And this is my Lancome lipstick, doesn't really have a name. But yeah. If you want to make your lipstick look matte, you can do that by putting on some translucent powder. I'm using the one from e.l.f. Just tap that on your lips and then it will give it more of a matte look. Now I'm going to use the Master Fix by Maybelline Setting Spray and this is what I use to set my whole makeup once I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Hey guys, so now I'm using my Dramatically Different Moisturizer by Clinique and I'm just going to put that all over my face. Um, just because I don't want to put the makeup directly on my face, I always like to put a moisturizer and then a primer to my face before. Now I'm going to use my Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask to moisturize my lips. Now I'm going to use my Professional Primer. I love this thing. Now I'm going to use my Clinique Beyond Perfect Concealer Foundation and this is in Buttermilk and I'm just going to put this all over my face and then blend it in with a damp beauty blender. I'm using my Milani Brow Kit, my favorite, right here. Now I'm just going to highlight my brow bone area with the Milani Brow Kit Highlighting Shade. And now I'm using the Nudes by Maybelline.
And now I'm using this whipped color smudge thing from Mary Kay. I don't really know the name of it. Now I'm going to apply my Maybelline Favorite Under Eye Concealer in light. I'm using my Airspun setting powder, which is a loose powder, and it's tinted. I love this thing. I'll be using my telescopic mascara from L'Oreal. And my Kat Von D Contour Kit Shade Light. About what? You don't even care about your background anymore. I'm in the background. TV's in the background. Background's not the same. Take this off right now. Thank you. No, I don't know what my background looks. But I'm almost done and I gotta go. Okay? So where was I? I was in the blush. Yeah. Which I'm using the blush from this. Milani in Rose. Lorenzo! Hey! You do! He knows his name already. <laughs>
and say, Pia Pia! Policia! Open box! Open box! Open box! Pia Pia! Boop boop! Let me like right this way, sir. <laughs> what the fuck? Now I'm using my Jordana Easy Liner for Eyes in the color teal. Oh my god, I love this. I love you. We love you. <laughs> we love you. I love you. I love you. I and now we're using the Milani and Coco line? lip liner. Love you. <laughs> hey, That's on my right, yeah. The only one that says hi, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, I'm your gay uncle. <laughs> <laughs> you said it! You I lied. You're my cute. I uncle. love you. We love you. We love you so much. Yes, And my Revlon in pink lipstick. Wait, a nigga, is that when I was in the basement? Wait, a nigga, is that when I was right in the gym? Uh, mm. Now we're just going to use my Triple XL lip gloss. I got this from Sally. And then we're going to set my face with my Maybelline Studio Fix setting spray. And remember, this is something you would want to do if you would want to feel powdery in your face and too much heavy makeup. So now I'm getting ready to go to my doctor's yes to my doctor's appointment where they're gonna remove the cysts off my face. You see me now? Show you my app. As you can see, I got the procedure done. I can't show you what it is until they take off the bandage, but I do have stitches on my my makeup tutorials. I ended up doing a makeup tutorial on Easter because I figured I was going out, so might as well film it.